election year that of course you know with a presidential race u.s senate race and some contested congressional elections of course getting most of the attention but insiders will also be watching more than a dozen local races that could have some very large statewide implications 11 alive's doug richards on the story new at five well, Jeff, we've often noted that the Georgia Republicans maintain an iron grip on state power. But Democrats think they may have found a weakness on next year's ballot. This house will come to order. Republicans rule both chambers of the Georgia legislature. But Democrats see an opportunity in the state House of Representatives to pull off a series of upsets next year and win control of the chamber. Democrats ruled the State House of Representatives for most of Georgia's history, but by the 2004 session of the legislature, Republicans had flipped the 180-seat House dramatically. They have held it ever since. By 2018, Republicans had a nearly two-thirds majority, but in last year's election and in a special election since, Democrats flipped 13 seats. To gain a two-vote majority, Democrats would need to flip another 16 seats in next year's election. Democrat Bob Trammell says it's within reach. All you have to do is look at the trend lines, and the trend line for us is headed in the right direction, and the trend line for, uh, for the Republicans is headed in a direction where they're losing seats. Are Democrats going to pick up seats? Mathematically, it'd be hard not to. Republican strategist Brian Robinson thinks Democrats won't be able to flip enough Republican seats to get control of the House. If Republicans lose control at the Capitol, they'd also lose control of redistricting, which shapes how the two parties share power for 10 years. This is more important than a typical election because it doesn't just determine the next two years. Mm -hmm. In many ways, it determines the next 12. Redistricting takes place following the 2020 census. Redistricting determines how the political map is drawn. The party in power always draws the map to favor its continuation of that power. Democrats did it back in the day. Republicans did it at the start of this decade. The question is whether Democrats can grab enough seats next year in the House of Representatives to stop the Republicans from doing it again, Jeff. Very interesting story, Doug. Very